YouTube, what is going on? Savage here. Today's video was not planned. I originally dove into this video to do some YouTube shorts, show you guys jump spots and how to do the boost jump and things like that. But my homie Expel ended up being in the game. And on top of that, I ended up running some loadout campers and we got to spectate them for the majority of the game. And you guys know how much I hate loadout campers. I saw it was real critical. So I really hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, leave it a like, subscribe channel today, but let's dive into it. All right, so funny enough, uh, I actually was recording right now in order to show jump spots to you guys. And uh, I was just paying attention to chat and my dude Expel happened to be in the game. And he's like, yo, come to me. So we're going to him. Hey, can you hear me, bro? I can't hear you. I think I got banned from voice chat. Yo, shoot the ground if you can hear me. No! Why can't I fix this shit? Camp it. Oh, shit. Fire. Ladies and gentlemen, today, we're gonna be spectating a team that was camping Lodi. Now, originally, I literally just loaded in this match to just do jump spots. Um, just for some shorts for you guys, so you guys can know like awesome jump spots to outplay enemies. But I got curious and I went to the Lodi because I kept getting killed by Lodi Camper after Lodi Camper after Lodi Camper, you know, the new Warzone experience. And this was the team that was there. Now, they did proceed to tell me in chat, get shit on after camp and loading. So I decided, you know what? What better team to spectate than a couple of shitters at camp loading camp buildings? So here we are. Milla rocking three kills. Oh, God damn, look at that aim. Oh shit. And th this is why people camp loadies right here. This is literally why, because they can't shoot the broad side of a fucking barn. Did you see that? Wow, the snaps, the accuracy. But yeah, honestly, dude, I'm just, uh, this game has really just been affected by not only the way it's been designed, but also the, pl the way players are playing. And to be fair, it's really the game's design fault. Yeah, let's go back to the build and camp it again. Um, players camp loadouts because they're able to, right? In Warzone 1, we had the thing where loadouts only landed near you. Like if there happened to be three teams in your area, three loadouts landed, one for every team. So it wasn't really like a, a camping situation. Other teams couldn't see your loadout. We didn't share a universal loadout. So what in the flying fuck are we doing, Mittens? Holy hell, brother. Is he having a seizure? Now you gotta remember, four of his kills are me and my teammate. He did it twice. I had to go back and, and, and spectate him again. Oh, also, side note, expels in this game too. I was trying to, was trying to find him and team up with him, but I got voice banned for talking too much shit. Sad day. No way, Savage, not you, you're way too nice. I know, I know, that's what I said too. All right, Mittens is rocking a red dot on the ISO, and you know what? Use whatever sight you want, but I'm really interested to see his aim at range because range, when it comes to range sh shots, dude, I'd, I'd prefer anything else. The aim OP, the VLK, um, the list goes on. Now, a lot of people, a lot of pros love red dots. It is what it is. Again, if you can rock it, you can use it, but I'm very curious to see how it comes into play when he's at about mm, 200 meters, maybe. We'll see. Now, this is a play style I have been begging you guys not to play since the day the game came out. And why is that? Well, the reason why is because when they get to end game, I bet you everything they die. Mittens might not be a bad player. We just haven't seen them move. Supply 
All right, servers are getting laggy. This is something we've seen so much here lately. I don't know what it's been about the past week, but these servers have been absolutely atrocious. There's rumor that it's lag switching, rumor that it's this, that, and it couldn't be all the above. I don't know, but whatever the rumor means, it just needs to fucking stop. All right, now, side note, there was a team here when I was playing, and you can still see them running around. We're long floating. Let's see how he plays this, because now we have we have to rotate further to the south. This is really an unnecessary fight. So if you want to get a lead on this team, if you want to kill them, get to the next zone and get in a gatekeep spot. There's no reason to push him. Mittens is too stupid to understand that, but there's no reason to push him. What we need to be doing again is just rotating to the next zone and getting a gatekeep position. Sometimes, even if you want to kill them, you're better off holding the enemy instead of pushing the fight. Minute and a half left. By the time we get there, circle's already closing in. Again, they have the high ground, so they have every vantage point in that area. So let's lead the enemy. We're going with it anyway. Now, this is a very, 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 very dumb thing to do. Oh my God, we're blessed right now. Because again, look at the zone. Even if we get there, even if we're safe, how are you gonna fight the enemy on a rooftop? Let's see how it plays out though. It's a bad fight, but if this team on the rooftop is bad, we can still secure it. And even if Mittens and his teammate win, it's just still a stupid fight. Now, since we didn't gatekeep the enemy, again, if we go to the bridge, we can hold the enemy easy. And he can still go that way. But it just depends on what the enemy has decided to do. You've got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Ladies and gentlemen, load out campers at their finest. Load out campers at their absolute finest. You gotta love it. You absolutely have to love this shit. Alright, so we're moving on to booty meat and vag sweat. People like to tell me, Savage, the average player base of Warzone is adults. Bullshit. Never has been, never will be. COD's always been dominated. Dominated by the younger crowd, and I still think that stands true today, judging by the names. All right, Vad Sweat, what you got, brother? We got four kills. We got a loading next to us. He's rocking the AUG, okay. Questionable, but okay. And again, this video was not meant to be a spectate, but because Mittens killed me at a loadout and then proceeded to say in all chat, and I quote, get shit on, I decided it was time to really uh, put our skills to use and see what the hell these loaded campers can really do with themselves. And the moment, the moment we finally witness him in a fight where he's not sitting still, he collapses. Now, I'm being a dick, no doubt about it. I'll take that, I'll own that, I'll take that W. But in reality, dude, they're still learning lesson behind it, guys. If you sit there and you camp, you might get lucky kills, but in the end, you're gonna get your shit pushed in. Play how you want. But if you click on a video to, that has the word Warzone Tips in it, playing how you want really isn't your main goal, is it? It's to be a better player. So do not do what the hell Mittens did um, or Mila for that instance. Not to mention with that fight there, they were spread apart. It was just, a, that whole thing was just weird. And again, dude, they could have, oh, they're still in the game. They could have, because Mila beats the bounty. They could have led the enemies. They could have just held them, but they decided not to, because again, they don't think. And that's no, that's no shots. They just, a lot of players don't, they don't put any thought into their moves. They just go with their move. Is Vaj, is Vaj Sweat feeling the pressure of me spectating? Let's move on to his teammate and see if Vaj moves. Incredible. Incredible. Now remember, Expel was in this game, so we might end up spectating him again. We notice that Mila beats on the opposite side of the map, and again, they probably don't have their loading. 
Now, this zone right here is actually a decent zone, but when you see a zone like this, you want to grab the higher ground. I can't pull the map up, but if you look at the mini map over here, you'll notice they have the high ground, judging by the topography of the map on the left-hand side, and then the topography says it gets lower. So you want to try to rotate the high ground because if you're on the low ground and the next zone favors high ground, you're fucked. That's it. It might not, but you're screwed. However, if you're on the high ground and it favors the low ground, you have a chance. All right, good fight. Good shots by Booty Meat. Honestly, it was a bad fight because he was in the open, had no cover, but he was able to hit his shots and outplay the enemy, thankfully. All right, so the circle does kind of favor us. Remember, if you get a knock, you don't get a kill, and you don't get a team wipe, the guy's probably in their self resin. Everyone's got self res in this game. Just always assume. That's unfortunate. All right, here we are on the boss, man. All right, Vag Sweat and Booty Me have left the game. Now, look, the team on the hill is going to be in a good spot. I don't know why we're tap firing. It, it, I mean, that gun does a lot more damage than I thought. Unless that enemy was getting shot at four bullets for a crack. Maybe, maybe tap far as the wave. All right, so you can guarantee. So right now you have to do process of elimination, AKA deductive reasoning. Where do you think enemies are? Well, that guy on the hill is pushing on the team. Five teams left, two teams are up top. There's two buildings down here with us. I'm assuming team per building. That's a pretty good assumption. I don't know why he got on the rooftop, my guy. Or maybe not in a building, maybe camping a loadout. Damn, dude. Okay, so it's... We have a very good spot. We just have to gatekeep. He's not looking at the hill at all. Very questionable. Very questionable. There we go. You can pay attention to both sides, but you have to have better movement. You have to be able to work both corners. All right, good crack. Great drill charge. Contest the enemy. This isn't good at all. I don't know what this idea or play is at all, but we're going to die to zone, so. Oh, my. It's a 1v1, my guy. Don't go inside. He's in there. He's behind him. You heard him. You heard him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go, bitch. Play it up. He might be played it. I don't know. I'm panicking for your boy. What are we going pro for? He won the game! That was wild! Yo! How? Everyone at the end kept dying to gas, and in the end, he won because the other guy died to gas first. We had to sell for us, saved his life. Wow. Absolutely incredible. I'm trying to spread anti loadout camping awareness out here in the streets, guys. Make sure you join. Make sure you join in, all right? You guys that loadout camp, do you guys want to be loadout camped? Hell no, that shit sucks. Granted, it's not y'all's fault. I mean, it is, but it's not really your fault. It's, it's the devs fault for creating this game like that. Warzone 1's loadout system was great. You ran into campers every now and then, but it's very rare the team would just post up at it. Very rare. And now that everyone kind of goes to the same loadie, just yeah, stupid. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I really do. Again, this is really just kind of an improv video, but y'all have a good one, man. Good luck in Warzone and don't camp loadouts.